Hello everyone, I'm Jian Zhou. The title of this presentation is Quantum Circuit Implementation of AES with Few Qubit. The motivation of this work is to reduce the memory cost of our quantum circuit of AES. So let's begin. In the first, we want to introduce some background knowledge. Different from the classical circuit, quantum circuits require reversible gate. That is, we should not only to keep the input message x, but also need to copy the output value fx to the new qubit y. In this paper, we adopt the following four quantum gates in our quantum circuit of AES. The first is the NOT gate. The NOT gate has one input and one output. If the input is zero, then the output is one, and vice versa. The second is the CNOT gate. The CNOT gate is the reversible equivalent of a XOR gate. The three is the swap operation. The swap op uh, gate will swap the two qubit A and B. We think the cost of the swap gate is free in this paper. The last is the toll-free gate. The toll-free gate is the reversible equivalent of a classical AND gate. We adopt toll-free gate in our circuit because the following two reasons. First, toll-free gate requires only 3 qubits, and the value of C is not limited. It can be 0 or 1. We will make use of this property in our quantum circuit of AES. The above four quantum gates are universe, so we can construct our quantum circuit of AES with these above four gates. There are several ways to measure the efficiency of a quantum circuit. First, we can compare the number of gates. However, due to the physical realization of a quantum computer, the top three gates are much more expensive than the other quantum gate. As a result, the number of top three gates is an important concern in this paper. The second measure is the depth of a quantum circuit. Since top three gates is, in, is important, so we focus on the top three depths in this paper. The third measure is the number of a qubit, which is relevant to implementations today. The lower the number of qubit, the sooner the quantum algorithm can be implemented on a real quantum computer. As a result, the number of uh, the number of qubit is a primary concern in this work. Quantum algorithm consists of operation on the qubit. We can divide the qubit into three types. First is the input qubit. Input qubit are written with the input message, such as the input wrong key, uh, input key, or the input plain text. The second is ancillary qubit. Ancillary qubit is are uh, written with some intermediate message. It can ensure that the whole Quantum circuit is reversible. We should clean up the ancillary qubit and the end of a quantum circuit. The three is the output qubit. Output qubit contain the output information of a quantum circuit, and we do not need to clean up the output qubit. So we can try to apply our toffee gauge to the output qubit instead of the ancillary qubit. In this way, we can reduce the number of toll-free gates on the toll-free depth. depth. There are some previous work on minimizing the quantum circuit of AES. In 2016, Grasso et al. find out the AS Xbox can be obtained by computing the inverse of the input. They found the inverse operation can be implemented with eight multiplications. 
while the left three linear operations can be implemented with the in place way. In 2018, Kim et al. find the inverse operation can be computed with only seven multiplications, which reduce the cost of the Xbox, and they can reduce the cost of their quantum circuit of AES by using this um, new uh, property. One year later, Langenberg proposed an efficient quantum circuit of AES Xbox by converting the previous classical circuit of AES Xbox into a quantum circuit. Compared with the previous work, such as the Grasso's work or the Kim, Kim's ATS work, Langenberg's circuit can reduce the number of qubits and the number of the Toffrey gates greatly. In 2020, Jacob's ATS show a depth uh, depth e efficient quantum circuit of AES by using the previous depth efficient classical circuit of AES Xbox. The previous work shown that we can construct an optimal quantum circuit of AES by constructing an input classical circuit of AES. So we will um, construct our uh, input quantum circuit of A by using a similar idea. So, in order to construct a low memory quantum circuit of AES, we need to construct the quantum circuit of the four basic operations of AES, which are the Xbox on the shift row, mix column, and add wrong keys. Since only the Xbox is the long linear, long linear operation, and uh, only in the Xbox contain a toffee gate. So we focus on how to implement Xbox efficiently. In the first, we need to construct an op um, optimal classical circuit of AES Xbox with few end gate. Since we cannot find a better circuit than the Boyas Atel's classical circuit of the AES Xbox, we just adopt their circuit in our paper. By using the tower field technique, Boya Atlas find out the AES Xbox can be divided into three parts. That is the US, FX, and BX. UX uh, take the input of the Xbox as, as input and output 22 um, bits, where each YI is a linear combination of the input. Now, FX is a long linear function. It will take the output of US as input and output 20, 20, uh, uh, 18 values from Z0 to Z17. The output of fx is the input of bx. The output of the bx is the output of the fx, uh, uh, sx. We summarize the previous classical uh, circles in, in these papers. So, as uh, shown in the tables, um, Boyas et al. circuits contain the fields on the A uh, and gate that is near classical circuit contains only 32 and gate and 81 XOR gate. Um, in this paper we propose an input classical of the inverse Xbox of AES also by using the tall field technique. Since our classical circuit of the inverse Xbox is similar to Boya's circuit, we just omit the details and give the results in these tables. That is, well, our classical circuit of the inverse Xbox also contains 32 AND gate. So in the following, we will show how to convert a 
classical circuit of the ASS box to a quantum circuit of the ASS box. Uh, and the quantum circuit of the inverse Xbox can be constructed in a similar way. Uh, we will so the, a naive conversion of the Boyer's circuit to a quantum circuit is to introduce new ancillary qubit to stop each uh, intermediate value, since uh, because the Quantum circuits must be reversible. So we take the US function as an example. That is, we should need to introduce uh, 26 new ancillary qubit to start all the intermediate values uh, in the US. We can also introduce some new ancillary qubit to start all the intermediate value. Uh, in the uh, fx and the bx, then we can compute the uh, we can obtain the output of the Xbox with the same processions of the classical circuit. However, we our quantum circuit of the AES Xbox should adopt some reverse operation to clean up all the ancillary qubit. Uh, in uh, this is uh, different from the classical circuit. So to sum up, the naive conversion of Boyas attached cir circuit, uh, we can construct this naive quantum circuit of AS S box with one hundred and twenty six qubit, uh, thirty two Toffrey gate, one hundred and six. T six CNOT gate and four NOT gate. Um, in this paper, we also find out we can reduce the number of qubits with the following two observations. According to the expressions uh, of computing each ZIs, we can compute the 18 value from Z0 to Z17 only with the four intermediate values, that is the T29, T33, and the T37, and the T40. That means we do not need to uh, all the intermediate value to store this 18 value of ZI. We summarize this conclusion in our observation 1. Since the quantum circuit should be reversible, we find out the four intermediate value cannot be obtained with only four qubit. In fact, we require at least six ancillary qubit to obtain the four um, intermediate value t ninety uh, uh, twenty nine t thirty. 3 and T37 and T40. In other words, we can obtain the 18 value from Z0 to Z17 only with 6 ancillary qubits. After op uh, computing the 18 value from Z0 to Z17, we can obtain the output of the Xbox with the Linear function Bx. Uh, we summarize the property in observation 2. So, based on, uh, based on our two observations, we can construct a quantum circuit of AS S box with at least six ancillary qubits. In this paper, we will design two quantum circuits of ASS box. Case one, when the output qubits are zero, then we find out we can construct our quantum circuit of AS um, by using the uh, in-place weights. 
That is, after computing the 18 value of、uh, from Z0 to Z17 with the six ancillary qubit, we do not、uh, need to introduce the new ancillary qubit、uh, in the linear function Bx to compute the output、um, of Xbox. So in this case, we can、um, we can obtain the Output of AS Xbox with only six ancillary qubit. Case two, when the output qubit are not zero, then in this case we cannot use the in-place way implementation to compute the output of the AS Xbox. In this case, we should adopt a new ancillary qubit big Z to store each Zi. Then. Then after filling big Z with a new Zi, we can XOR big the、uh, big Z to、uh, each X Xi with the linear expansions in observation two. In this case, in this case two, we require seven ancillary qubit to compute the output of the AS S box. We can obtain a similar observation of our quantum circuit of the inverse、um, Xbox.、Uh, we just give the result and om omit the details, and we summarize we、um, the re our result of our quantum circuit of the AS Xbox and、uh, the inverse Xbox. The detail of our quantum circuit implementation of AES Xbox on the inverse Xbox are available at the following websites. The left three linear operation, and such as the strict rows, mixed column,、uh, and add wrong keys, can be. Implement with the CNOT gate, and we just adopt the quantum circuit of uh of the uh, pro, uh proposed by Grasso and Langenburg for the three linear operation in this paper. So we just omit the details. After uh designing a low memory quantum implement uh uh quantum circuit of the Xbox. And the three linear operation, we also need to consider whether we can reduce the number of qubit between the uh between each wrong functions. The previous memory quantum circuit of AS adopt the following zigzag method to reduce the qubit. The idea is to reuse in some qubit. So, which can be summarized as follows: They denote each wrong i as r i's. So, since they only have um five hundred and twelve qubit, then after computing the first wrong uh value of the wrong wrong one, wrong two, wrong three, and wrong four, there are no room to start um the following wrong function. So they have to remove some previous wrong function values, so to start the value of the following wrong function. Uh, in this, they can adopt the following idea to remove the wrong i's. That they can recompute the value of wrong i minus one, so to append the value of wrong i again. Then they XOR the value together so to remove the value of wrong eyes. So they can use the wrong two to remove wrong three, and use wrong one to remove the value of wrong two, and use the value of wrong zero to remove the value of wrong one. Know that they can remove the value of wrong four now because they. 
need the value of run four to compute the value of run five. So they can base a similar idea several times to compute the output of the run ten, which is the output of the AES. In this paper, we propose an input zigzag methods. Uh, the core idea of our I, um, of our paper is to uh, find out the every operation in AES is invertible, which allow to uncompute uh, to uncompute a state from a later state, while in general this can only be done from an earlier state. So as shown in the figures. Our input zigzag only requires 256 qubits. Uh, after, after computing the run 1 and run 2, we use the message on the value of run 2 to remove run 1. With the reinitially qubit, we can Mm, we can store the run three in this new qubit. The run three can be obtained by the value of run two. Then we can use the value of run three to remove um, the run two and computing the run four in the uh, in the reinitially qubit. So we can. Uh, compute this operation several times to to compute the output of the run hand. So, based on our quantum circuit of the Xbox and the uh, three linear operation and our input zigzag methods, we can construct our quantum circuit of AES as follows. Seeing the quantum circuit of each run is similar, we just show how to obtain run 5 and remove run 4 as follows. So, in the beginning, we have 128 zero qubit. Since we require some ancillary qubit, in our quantum circuit of the Xbox, we cannot to compute all the Xbox of one files uh, in one time. So we use the last six, uh, sixteen four, sixteen four qubit as a ancillary qubit, and we can compute the first. 8 Xbox of run 5 and the first 2 Xbox of, dub, uh, of the sub key W20. So, after this op, uh, Xbox operations, we have only 64 zero qubits left. In order to obtain more zero qubits um, for the following, um, answer, uh, to use to us in the following ancillary qubit. So we should remove the qubit in run 4. We can do this by using our quantum circuit of the invert S box. As shown in the expression in the left, we can use our um, According to the expressions in the left, we can use the, our uh, quantum circuit of the inverse Xbox to the first eight Xbox value of the run fight to remove the first eight byte value of the run four. Then after this uh, operation, we can Obtain uh, 128 zero qubit again. Then we can repeat the previous operation uh, uh, several times to obtain run five and remove 
run for. We just give the uh, whole uh, whole procession in these figures. We can summarize the cost of our quantum resource of AES in this table. As shown in these tables, we can reduce the number of qubits by more than 30 percent. So that's all. Thank you. Bye bye.